This is week five. Hello everybody and welcome to Vlog Wednesday week five. Oh shit, do I not have a video comment of the week? I don't have a video comment of the week. So there are two things that I wanted to talk about this week, but first, video comment of the week, 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 week. J Jan? Jan. This week's video comment of the week goes to Jan, I think, or is his name Jan? I'm assuming it's Jan because Jan is a man's name and I don't know if Jan is, might be a cultural difference there that I just don't understand. I cried from laughter. I first wasn't 100% sure you would be my new fave YouTuber, but I only watched 30 seconds and I'm dying. Happy to have made you laugh. I'm really happy the Dying Light video was well received. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the Uncharted series that I've been doing. Uncharted was meant to be sort of a test series of not doing a horror game on YouTube because pretty much every gamer out there right now is doing a horror YouTube and I wanted to be just a little bit different. I mean, my kick videos aren't always horror videos and those work. So I thought, why can't I just do a normal Let's Play and not have it be a horror game? So the Uncharted series was pretty much a test to see if that would work. But with all tests, there has to be a test run. And with Uncharted episode one and two, I was cutting pretty much very minimally. I was cutting it a lot like I did Outlast, which Outlast was meant to build suspense. And you were supposed to sort of feel like you're in the room with me and feel my fear and want to inch forward and peek around corners and like hear every single breath and scream. While Uncharted is different. Uncharted is a very story driven game that's also very cinematic. So I never ever cut out any of the cutscenes whatsoever and I always try to let dialogue be heard. Problem is with an action adventure game like this there are a lot of bad guys to just mow through. And what I decided to start doing if you watched yesterday's episode which was part three is I cut the action sequences a little bit more like my kick video. Videos. So there's less hanging around. I make sure that you know exactly where you are spatially. And you know, if you're confused, let me know. I'll cut back on it just a little bit. So there's that. But I feel that episode three is pretty much the standard of how I'm actually going to start cutting the Uncharted series because you don't want to be there for every headshot. I mean, of course I'm going to put it anytime I struggle because I don't know why, but watching people struggle is funny. So if you've given up on the Uncharted series, give it another shot starting at episode three, especially if you like the kick videos. And secondly, the one thing I wanted to talk about was Mani Ohm. I don't know how many of you actually watching my channel pay attention to Rooster Teeth, but Rooster Teeth is a production company based in Austin, Texas, and they do some amazing stuff. They've done Red vs. Blue, they've done Ruby, and most recently they've actually had a very devastating thing happen. Their head animator, Mani Ohm, passed away at the age of 33 the other day. Now, being that Mani Ohm is someone that I've never actually met or had the pleasure of having a conversation with or hanging out with, you would think that that wouldn't really affect me, but it did. When I heard that news, I was actually really, really upset about it. And I found myself asking why. Mani Ohm was very, 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 very talented. And to have died at the age of 33 is so, so sad. I mean, of course it's sad. Someone that was loved by millions passed away unexpectedly. But Mani also represented a lot of things for a lot of people. Mani was always one person to tell everyone else to keep moving forward. That time is the only factor that's limiting you. He loved to create and create and he was always creating things. And that was the amazing thing about Mani. From what I hear, he'd be up for 30 hours at a time just because he wanted to keep creating. And Mani's passing is also a reminder to all of us that want to create that we should create and we should never stop creating. When you create something, you leave a piece of your mind for the rest of the world to see. And even after death, that little piece of your mind will remain for everyone to view. It's a little glimpse into your brain. It's a little piece of you that will never die. Monty was lucky enough to have a career where he could be as creative as he wanted to be, and he was able to express his mind with everyone else. He was able to show us things that none of us would have ever thought of. And because of this, Monty is never really gone. There will always be a small piece of him still around for us to enjoy. So I believe every single one of you if you have something you want to create, create it. Don't let any limitation stop you. Show the world what's inside your head. Despite all the variations of people in the world and no one having original ideals anymore, that's not true. Every single one of you is unique. Every single one of you is something to say and every single one of you is very important. So to Mani Ohm, I just wanted to say, thank you for being an inspiration and thank you for giving us just a glimpse into the beautiful mind that is yours. Thank you for being a reminder to always keep moving forward. And I'm sorry if this vlog Wednesday is a little bit more somber than usual. I promise next week I'll get back into the swing of things, but this just needed to be said. 
And that's really all I have to say this Vlog Wednesday. So thank you for watching, thanks for subbing if you have, and as always, keep calm and key on and I will see you in the next video.